Hello everybody, this is Nathan and this is my take. And the question has been asked. Nathan, if Nebraska comes out tomorrow and plays well against Minnesota and beats them, will that change my mind about wanting to fire Pelini? And this is my answer to that. Look at me, look at me. Fuck no! No, it won't change my mind about wanting to fire Pelini. Why would a win against Minnesota change my mind about that? For that case, why would a win against Minnesota and Iowa in the next two weeks change my mind about that? Yeah, come come at me with 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 that line of reasoning. Oh, Nathan, if we win out, we go ten and two. That's really good. Wipe my ass with 10 and 2. 10 and 2 means absolutely nothing at this point in the season. 10 and 2? Look at what those 10 teams are! Purdue, Rutgers, Illinois, McNeese State, Florida Atlantic, and a halfway decent Miami team? Am I supposed to be impressed by that? Am I supposed to be impressed? That Pelini managed to beat every team that he was supposed to beat this year. As opposed to, I don't know, blowing it like he did against Minnesota last year. Congratulations. Didn't have a bow for it, knock on wood. Not yet, at least. But how are you, how am I supposed to take 10 wins seriously when they're against crappy opponents no the we only played two good teams thus far this year michigan state and wisconsin and they both murdered us wisconsin more so than michigan state but for three quarters that michigan state game was an absolute massacre so don't come here and tell me Oh, we're sitting at eight wins. That's really good. Don't come at me with that nonsense. Eight wins against crappy opponents? Of course Nebraska should do that. We shouldn't aim to simply beat crappy teams and call it a day and say that's good enough. We should aspire to more. We should aspire to beat the Michigan States and Wisconsin and Ohio States of the world. To win the conference. To prove that we are the best team in the Big Ten. And we have not done that. We have not come close to doing that. Even in, in the year we won our division, Wisconsin murdered us in the conference championship. So don't come here and tell me that I should be impressed with what could be a 10-win regular season. I'm not impressed. And you shouldn't be either. Ten wins against crappy opponents is nothing to celebrate. It's not going to change my mind. If Pelini goes out and beats Minnesota convincingly, well, well, congratulations, Pelini. You did what you were supposed to do. Everyone, ex even after our weak performance last week, we're still favorites against Minnesota. It's at home. Nebraska, athletically, is a better football team than Minnesota. I'm not sure we have an advantage coaching-wise, <clears throat> but athletically, we have better players. We are at home. We should win this football game. And if he wins, well, good. But that's not going to change my mind. That's not going to erase the stench of a 59-24 massacre at Madison last week. That's not going to erase the disappointment of Michigan State earlier in the year. When you only play two quality teams in a season, it behooves you to at least show up in those games. So no, no. 10 win season this year doesn't cut it. Not anymore. This nonsense. If This nonsense needs to stop. That's why I say Pelini has to go. Because he's not going to make these blowouts stop. He has no idea why they're occurring in the first place. He needs to go. That's that. Now, I'm not close-minded to the idea of him proving me wrong. But it would require some major changes in the coaching staff. And a complete turnaround of this football team next year because I doubt he's going to get 
fired this year unless he loses our next three games. But that's a, that's a discussion for another video. Uh, this is Nathan. It's been fun, and this has been my take. I'm out.